Hello everyone, so this video is looking at dilutions and we're going to look at how you make serial dilutions and simple dilutions um, and the difference between them. Okay, so let's start with that. What is the difference between a serial dilution and a simple dilution? Well, let's say uh, we were going to make uh, three dilutions and we start off with our uh, first solution here and this is a 10% solution. And then we're going to make a second dilution, or second solution, and this dilution is going to be a 1% solution. And then finally, our third dilution is a 0.1% solution. So in this example here, we're going from 10 to 1 to 0 0.1. So each time, there is a times 10 dilution factor. Okay, so from 10 to 1, it's, gone, uh, it's been diluted 10 times and then from 1 to 0 0.1 also it's been diluted 10 times. So this is a serial dilution. Now simple dilution, a little bit different. Here are the three solutions that we are going to make. Um, and this one, let's say for example, we start off again with a 10% solution. But the second solution that we make is 2.5%. And then the third one is 1%. Now the important thing here is that as we go from one to the next to the next we have different dilution factors okay so serial dilution over here each step is the same dilution factor it doesn't have to be times 10 that's just the example i've given you but if the first one is times 10 the second one must also be times 10. if you then do it again it will be times 10. with a simple dilution you have a different dilution factor each time. And how you make these dilutions is different. So we're going to start off by thinking about how we would make um, and how we would calculate our serial dilutions. OK, so here is our starting solution. Um, and it's 10% solution. Now, this is sometimes called like a stock solution. It's what you start with. And what we want is to make a 1% solution from our original, okay? So to do that, we have to divide by 10. So this is a times 10 dilution factor. 1% is a tenth of 10%. So what we have to do here is actually very simple. If we've got 10 centimeter cubed of our original solution, um, and you know, usually with practice questions they will keep it fairly straightforward like that so let's say we've got 10 centimeter cubed of a 10 percent solution so if we take out of that one centimeter cubed and put it into our new container one centimeter cubed of a 10 centimeter cubed solution is one percent of that solution so this here if we now add nine centimeter cubed of water we will now have 10 centimeters cubed of our 1% solution. If we wanted to then dilute by another factor of 10, and remember because it's a serial dilution, it has to be the same factor both times, what we do is we would again take out 1% and we would dilute it with 9 centimeters cubed of water to make it up to 10 centimeter cubed and we now have a 0.1% solution. Now the important thing here, remember, um, if we got the same dilution factor each time, we start off by taking from the first solution into the second, then we take from our second into the third. If we were going to make another dilution, we take from the third and go into the fourth like that. So it's a series, that's why it's called a serial dilution, because it's a series of steps here to here to here and so on. Okay, what about simple dilutions then? So these are possibly a little bit trickier. Here is our original solution. Um, and again, it's a 10% solution. But this time we want to make a 2.5% solution from it. And again, we're going to say that we start with 10 centimeter cubed and we want to make 10 centimeters cubed of our new 2.5% solution. 
So the question is, how much of our original solution do we need to transfer and then how much water do we need to add? Now the water part is simple because if we want to make 10 centimetre cubed um, in total at the end, then the amount of water that we add, the volume of water we add, just has to make sure it adds up to 10. So this is the important thing. How much of our original 10% solution do we need to transfer? Now we need a little equation for this. M1V1 equals M2V2. M means concentration. So you have to be careful because obviously we don't, we're not you maybe used to using M to mean concentration, but that's what it means. And V stands for volume. So M1 is the concentration of our original solution, so 10%. V1 is the volume that we want to transfer. Okay, so this is our unknown. M2 is the concentration that we want to end up with. And V2 is the volume that we want to end up with. So if V1 is our unknown, we want to know the volume that we need to transfer, we can rearrange our equation to look like this. And then we can input our numbers. So V1 would be 2.5 times 10 divided by 10. Now, of course, these two numbers are just going to cancel out. And that means that the volume we need to transfer is 2.5 centimeters cubed. So this number here is 2.5. That means that we need then 7.5 centimeter cubed of water. 2.5 plus 7.5 gives us the 10 centimeter cubed volume that we want to end up with. And that's how you calculate um, how you work out your simple dilution. So the important thing here as well is that if you now make another dilution you do not take out from here in a simple dilution you always remove from the original so for example let's get rid of all of this let's say we want to do another dilution and we want it to be one percent we have to take it from our original solution. So we have to take a certain volume from there and use that to make our 1% solution. We do not go from here to here. That's what you do in a serial dilution. In a simple dilution, you always take from the original stock solution. Now that means that we could then actually um, make another dilution, which is, which is actually slightly bigger than the previous one. So for example, we could make a 4% dilution. Now you can't do that in a serial dilution because in a serial dilution you'd have to, well firstly the, the dilution factors have to be the same, but you can't go from 1% to 4%. Um, that's making it more concentrated, not less concentrated. But we can here because to make our 4% we have to take some of the solution from our original stock solution. And then the important thing each time to make these solutions, you have to know how much to transfer. How much goes in here? How much goes in here? How much do you take from your original solution? And that's what this formula is. V1 tells you how much, what volume do you take from your original solution to make your dilution. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.